I am repeatedly, publicly, and privately happy when I see my peers and my counterparts get ahead in their lives, in their businesses, in the things that concern them. I will never be dissatisfied and upset when someone else wins ahead of me. And there's a reason why I feel this way. Because I understand that nothing, nothing ever in this life will be handed to me. Nothing. I am prepared and I expect to work for every single thing that I amass and acquire in this life. Let me stop right there and tell you, no one will ever do anything for you for free. We live in a commerce-driven society worldwide. Kindness is good, but everyone wants to be paid for their services and products. That is just how it goes since the Industrial Revolution. People are not giving you or doing things for you for free. People are doing things for you and giving you things, expecting for you to pay them. So always remember and be ready to pay for what you receive. That's another little nugget I'm going to drop in this podcast. So there you go. But my point is, get happy and excited about someone else winning. Get happy and excited about someone else being successful. Even if they're successful and they win ahead of you. Why? Because your time will come. Your success Your opportunity will come. Your number will be called. Now, some people will experience their number being called immediately. And others of us will have been waiting in the line for 21 years for our number to be called. And my number still hasn't been called. But today, my number was called. And it was called sooner than I expected and anticipated. That was a sign to me. As a shaman, prophet, oracle, seer, visionary and luminary. I notice things that happen in my life and the lives of other people, whether I interact with them or whether I am an onlooker. I notice when there is a change and a shift in the atmosphere surrounding that person or those persons, I notice. And today, Spirit sent me a sign. I was bumped up in line and didn't even expect it. And then it didn't end there. I got happy for that woman's success. I was happy to see her go. I was happy to see her win. I was happy to see her be successful, even though we were just standing in line to pay for our goods. I was happy to see her win because she was in line before me and she had been standing, look at the metaphor, there longer 
than I had been. It was her time. By right, listen to the metaphor. Read between the lines. Catch the context clues. After I left the store, I realized that I hadn't finished commenting to a new Instagram supporter. And when I opened my phone again to respond to the new Instagram supporter and thank them for their support, I was met with a comment. And the comment said, you are astounding. Keep doing what you are doing because your number is about to be called sooner than you expect. That was the comment. Look at the signs. Literally, within moments of each other, the signs were there to let me know, sweetie, you continue to be happy for other people. You continue to genuinely Be happy for other people because I'm going to call your number sooner than you expected. I run a business. I'm not expecting. This is a new business. My other business went out of business. This is a new business. I just started it this year. We are not set to turn a serious profit for five to seven years. But honey, I've already just started to make more money than I've ever made with the business I had before. I'm already making more money than I ever did before. And I attribute it to my ability to be genuinely happy when I see people around me winning. When I see people around me winning, The first thing I do is congratulate them. And the second thing I do is tell myself, your number will be called. Your number will be called. Keep working.